because this is a very important story. I have been doing my best on my my side to get as much information as I can to be as thorough as possible, as accurate as possible. And I want to make sure that I do this story justice because this is such a big case. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in this world. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a fantastic Monday. I know I've been AWOL for quite a few days. Um, so much has been going on, good and bad, but forget about the bad. Today is my oldest daughter's 21st birthday. You guys, I can't believe how big they're getting, how time goes by so quick. And it's just mind blowing. So last week Friday, we actually celebrated her 21st birthday because she had plans for today, her actual birthday with friends. So all the family got together and we had an amazing, amazing dinner. And I just can't believe that my baby girl is 21 years old. I'm getting old. I just need to accept it. <laughs> so happy birthday to my beautiful baby girl. Hope she continues to be true to herself and remain the beautiful soul that she is. In today's video, you guys, I'm going to make this a two-parter because the first part, I'm going to refresh your memory on when Katie Joy, aka WRACB without a crystal ball, was actually reporting on the story and she called it a true crime. Okay, so we're going to get into all that because lately she came on her Facebook and she gave this whole sob story on how there's nothing to see here. We must just keep it moving forward. Jay McRae has done nothing wrong. We don't know how she feels because her husband is in this situation. And we must just basically leave it alone. So we're going to get into that. But before that, my usual disclaimer, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Round about July, I want to say July, probably by July, Katie Joy started reporting on Marvon McRae. Marvon McRae is the ex us marine and he actually tried to take his own life on may of 23rd 2022 to which a facebook page was made justice hashtag justice for fun to which i believe those were ex-members of jay mccray which they found to be very very weird that Morvan would do something like this so they reached out to a whole lot of youtubers and Molly Golightly picked it up and so did Katie Joy. Katie Joy said that her subscriber reached out to her and she looked into it but then she didn't go anywhere with it. Then she says a second subscriber of hers reached out to her to talk about the story so she went and she took a second look at it and then she took it upon herself to actually go into researching the story and as you can see i put the screenshot here she even went into the facebook page trying to find people to give us some kind of information to which she came on her youtube and she made a video about this now bear in mind these videos have only recently been deleted just recently this happened what seven eight months ago and only recently did she delete only a few of these videos in regard to Dre and Marvon McRae. And the only videos that she actually deleted from her YouTube was the ones that included Molly Go Lightly and Justice For All. Anyway, when she came and she told the story, her exact words were, how can one mother of a Vaughn not help another mother of a Vaughn? How could one mother of a Vaughn not help out another mother of a Vaughn? And she started going in deep into the story immediately she felt exactly the way a lot of people felt about Dre McRae so let's just go over all the things that without a crystal ball accused this Dre McRae of that now she's telling people to leave her alone okay she says that and as you can see here I'll put in the screenshot she says that she murdered her husband she actually dosed him with a whole lot of kratom and tried to strangle him she said that Dre McRae has Munchausen by proxy. She said that Dre actually uses Marvon for content. She also in a video called Dre McRae a drag queen, including that Dre McRae has a complex and thinks that she is just smarter than everybody else. 
that actually reminds me of her when she says that she also goes into how Jay McRae actually went over into Mexico and was buying narcotics and all that kind of stuff but what is going to blow your mind is the facts that have come out to date in regard to all this what Katie Joy has accused Jay McRae of which in my opinion now that Jay McRae is back and back to a normal or regular scheduled programming or content on her Facebook and I think Katie Joy is basically shaking in her boots because this is just way too out of character for Katie Joy to take accountability. Ah, uh, no, there's definitely something that's up. So anyway, as time went on, she actually had Molly Go Likely and Justice For All on her channel, which they spoke about this whole situation, spoke about the story, to which when these two were on Katie Joy's panel, Molly did say in that live that she got somebody that's going to the home or is at the home. Did Katie Joy ever say to her at that time, oh, what? that is absolutely wrong, what you're doing? So when footage came out of Jay McClay's backyard shed, she was all about, oh, this is so wrong, what people are doing. But what led to that? What made her turn on Molly Go Lightly and Justice For All? was a video that Molly Golightly had done that said, I cannot confirm. To which Molly came on her channel and was actually telling people she cannot confirm the information that without a crystal ball is actually putting on her platform, which was that um, Department of Child Protective Services were involved and allegedly Jay McRae had 10 days to actually follow up with them or something to that effect. And this was the most outlandish thing ever because Katie Joy actually says that uh, Department of Child Protective Services have been bombarded with phone calls. And she says there were up to 7,000 calls made to CPS. So that is quite out there. To which, as I said to you, Molly Golightly came, she made that video and then shit hit the fan. Because Katie Joy went off on everybody. Because also bear in mind, when it came to Miss Letitia, she was there for Miss Letitia. She was had Miss Letitia's back. I'll even show you a screenshot where she even admitted and said that Miss Letitia has a lawyer. And then when Miss Letitia started backing away from her, things started going from bad to worse. Katie Joy Paulson, without a crystal ball, put out all miss letitia's information she dragged miss letitia she harassed miss letitia for so long she went behind the scenes when people were reporting on miss letitia she actually went on their pages and doubled down to try and humiliate miss letitia and if you think that's bad she went ahead and recruited other people AKA Unirock. I, I know someone within Unirock server who I, I talked to on occasion and I had spoken to this person back in mid September and they had reached out to me because they heard me ask on stream, like, why is it the Unirock is, is discussing this? Why is he making such a big deal out of this issue? And, and we're, you know, making videos about it every night. Was he recruited to do so? Or is this, you know, like an organic, you know, discovery of him or whatever. And um, so this person got back to me or just wrote me and said, so I saw your question from the recent stream. If KJ asked him to help with the Dre story or him just <clears throat> covering it on his own accord, I can say unequivocally, without a doubt, she asked him to cover it. Mm -hmm. um, his message, his message back to her was that he wouldn't talk to her until all this ended, but she could send him all the information she had if she wanted him to cover it. And um, then he says she got pissed because he took all the information she gave him and ran with it and wouldn't even talk to her. This person had told me that um, she reached out to to Unirock on September or August 14th. To go after Molly Go Lightly, Miss Letitia, Mavon's dad, to go after LB, it was a hot, hot mess. And all she did was just sat back and enjoyed all this that was unfolding. She went ahead, whatever video Molly Go Lightly made there after, she went on a Facebook and she gave her side of it. Went and she classed, brought out every dirty detail about Molly Golightly. On what a bad person she is. This is what she did. This is what she did. 
in my opinion, this was not the time. Go off of what's happening now. So if she feels it's relevant to bring out Molly's background and what she's done in the past, it's damn well okay for us to do that right now with her in this situation. Because what she did in this situation is totally fucked up. From being there for Miss Letitia, from promoting her GoFundMe, from feeling bad for Miss Letitia, how can one mother of Yvonne not help another mother of Yvonne? To backstabbing Miss Letitia, to harassing her, to making her feel a certain kind of way, to going and digging up Mavon Sr.'s background, exposing his background on how he cannot have access to his son. What he's done in the past is not going to help him to ever be with his son. It is absolute bullshit. Just because Katie Joy without a crystal ball could not handle the rejection. But I have noticed about Katie Joy all the time that I've been actually reporting on her is the fact that Katie Joy always wants to be in charge. She wa always wants to be the go-to. She wants to be the person that everybody flocks to. And like I've said, if you've got it, you got it. And in my opinion, Katie Joy does not have it. And in turn, she does not play nice with the next person. Because once she was being rejected from Mavon McRae's side of the family, what Katie Joy did was actually went and sought out the biological dad of Jay McRae's kids. And then she says her source was one of his friends. So once she got kicked to the curb, the McRae family didn't want to deal with that anymore. She chose the kid's dad's side. And in turn, what did Katie Joy do? Katie Joy went and helped him build a case, started collecting information that could help him get his children away from Dre. So that should tell you a lot on exactly the type of person Katie Joy is. Did not go out and look for the truth. She just went to the opposite side, the side that would actually entertain her. And she went all out. She started, or allegedly, she started a cash up for them. She collected information for them. She was helping them to build a case, as I said, against Andrea. She got fully, fully invested. Because why? Because she just wants to be noticed. She wants the accolades. She wants to be known as the it person. And once again, if you have it, you have it. Katie Joy, unfortunately, in my opinion, you don't have it. Then she also came forward and was like, after she says she's no longer reporting on this, she found out what's the truth and what was fed to her was a lie. She turned on every single person because she said she was just dealt wrong information. So my thing at the end of the day is why did she not do her due diligence? You know, instead of just going off something, coming back and reporting on it. Because all of a sudden now she has wiped her hands clean of this. She's no more going to talk about it. She's sorry for what she's done. People can throw it in her face, but it's going to mean nothing because she said she's sorry. But what people don't realize is that Katie Joy does this quite often. How many times has Katie Joy got a story wrong? This is not the first time Katie Joy's got a story wrong. For instance, Todd Chrisley. She fucked up on that. She got sued for that, she settled. She didn't win, she settled. Tati Westbrook, she fucked up there. She got sued, she settled. She gave up her source. She lost, period. Now in this situation, she was all for the parents, all for Miss Letitia. Nobody should judge Miss Letitia. You would not believe the lengths people were going through to arrest this woman. You would not believe the people that Katie Joy gave information to, to harass this family. She is so pathetic. She is so disgusting that when Ma Vaughn, when she first broke the story, she was laughing at the fact or judging him. Who would wear blue pajamas when they're taking their life? I'm not talking out my backside. There's proof of all this, and that's why I say to you guys, do your due diligence. If I can show you the proof, I absolutely will show you the proof. So now that Dave McKay is back and doing her regular content on Facebook, Katie Joy decides to come forth 
and just give this bullshit story which is a whole separate video which i'm going to get into next that will be part two so you guys that's it for today please have a wonderful rest of your week be safe out there on your way out please hit the like subscribe and the notification bell so be notified each time i upload please have a wonderful rest of your week and don't forget make good memories bye guys